Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the second Sunday of Easter, the Vigil Mass, and the intentions are for Ince George Choa. Let's say together the communion, no, sorry, the entrance antiphon. Like newborn infants, you must long for the pure spiritual milk, that in him you may grow to salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to his people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. The word of the Lord. God. The response to the psalm. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love has no end. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten by God. And whoever loves the Father that begot him loves the child whom he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is. Keeping his commandments and his commandments are not difficult because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus Christ, who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said, you believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands, and could put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. And he spoke to Thomas, put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God. But Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Oops. <coughs> certainty, certainty is a slippery kind of concept, really. On the one hand, if someone says to you, you can't be certain of anything in this life, all you have to say is, are you certain of that? Think about it. On the other hand, absolute and total certainty belongs only to the insane or to extremists or terrorists, which is the same thing, really. Doubt is often a good thing. We can learn a lot from animals in this regard. They symbolize our own deep inner instincts, and if an animal, especially a domesticated one, hesitates or seems to doubt, it's because they're not sure whether a person or a situation is good or bad, helpful or harmful. So they hesitate, they doubt. And if there's something that animals really don't like, you can bet it's not a good thing for us either. Like fireworks. They are petrified. Years and years and years ago, my mother's dog used to sit under the sofa quivering and the fireworks were a mile away. So I don't like fireworks. Gandhi, oh by the way, animals are not, uh, animals are not an inferior species. They're not inferior, they're different. Gandhi said you can judge a civilization on the way it treats its animals. They, like us, are of God, uh, but they're better at it than we are. Doubt is not the opposite of faith. <coughs> so, so people, the opposite of love is hate. It's not. The opposite of love is fear. They don't occupy the same space. Well, in the same way, doubt is not the opposite of faith. The opposite of faith or belief is knowledge. If you know something, you don't have to believe it. Do you believe, do you have faith that the sun is hot? <laughs> no, of course you don't, you know it is. You don't have to believe, you know. Science has given you good proof. It's given you proof, it's proved the sun is hot. And this was Thomas's big mistake. Despite the fact that he has passed into our language as doubting Thomas, he didn't actually doubt at all. He flatly refused to believe. That's not doubt. He flatly refused to believe. He refused to believe without proof. I think he should be the patron saint of scientific materialists. Especially Richard Dawkins. Who reduces every great work of art the sculptures of Michelangelo, the paintings of Rembrandt, the music of Beethoven and Bach, or even the Boomtown Rats come to that. Every classical building, the most powerful poetry and prose, and the passion of history's greatest romantic lovers, he reduces that, all of it, to the meaningless after-effect of a primal biological spurt. And all it's done for him is given a face permanently with a smack bottom. <laughs> you start like it now. A face with a smack backside. That's all scientific materialism has done for him. What Dawkins, God bless him, and others fail to understand is that science and religion, I would rather say spiritual faith, are actually very good friends. But they have different roles to play. Science tells us what a thing is, but faith tells us what it means. And both are necessary. Look at your wedding ring. 
Look at your wedding ring, Andy, as you're in the front row and I know you're married. Well, I think you are. Look at your wedding ring. How would science describe that? I'll tell you how it would describe it. It would be described as a metallic compound composed primarily of the element gold, AU, in its pure form or alloyed with other metals. Gold is often alloyed with other metals to improve its properties. Common alloying metals include copper, silver and palladium. The composition of the alloy reflects the ring's colour, hardness and durability. Is that really what it means to you? Of course it's not. I'm not saying your ring is mixed with alloys, by the way. It would make it cheaper, but I'm not saying it is. Is that all it really means to you? No, of course not. Science can tell you what it is, but it cannot tell you what it means. It means your love and the history of your love. It has a richness and a depth and an emotional symbolic meaning that goes way, way beyond any chemical analysis. Thomas was demanding proof. Unless I see I demand proof, what he should have been looking for is meaning. I'll shut up now. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand together now and profess our faith. I believe in one God. visible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As our Easter season celebration and thanksgiving continues, we raise our hearts and minds to God, offering him our prayers and petitions. We pray for the people of God, for Pope Francis, bishops, priests and religious, for Christian youth and for families everywhere. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the world, for true and lasting peace for the ending of tyranny and oppression, for the well-being and prosperity of all nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our society, for those who suffer, want or go hungry, for the unemployed and the marginalised, and those who survive on its fringes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, especially remembering the sick of our own parish, all those who are unwell in mind and body, and for the frail and the housebound. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the dead, in particular for the deceased members of our own family and friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask Our Lady to add her prayers to ours, as we say, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace, the the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray Pray for for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. We make our own prayers in a moment of silence. We make all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and those who have brought to new birth by baptism, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as their claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever.
at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. body of Christ, the 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 blessing of Christ, the blessing of Christ, the blessing of Christ, the body 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 of Christ. 
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blessing of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blessing of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. The blessing of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. The blessing of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. I know. Yeah. 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 It doesn't happen at all. Focus of the music, I suppose, it keeps them in their pews. Right. Yeah.